Hi, this is Chris from the CPAP shop. We're here with brand, Dr. Brandon Peters. Uh, Dr. Brandon Peters recently uh, had the new ResMed AirSense 10 auto set CPAP machine for about a week. Um, you know, ResMed has had the EPR, which you know basically lowers the pressure upon exhalation built on many of their machines. This one has it, it has it as well. Did you use the EPR? Was there a specific number that you felt was was most comfortable? Yeah, so the, the exhalation pressure relief, that EPR, is, is something they've had the last couple of models. Uh, basically what it does is it bows the pressure back a little bit to let you breathe back, breathe out more comfortably. Um, it's not something that I had, I use CPAP myself, it's not something I really had turned on with the prior uh, S9 model, but with this model I did test it out and it actually was a little bit more comfortable as you breathe out. It does noticeably drop the pressure. Um, actually, it can make it a little even more comfortable to talk if you have the CPAP on, which I know can be uncomfortable for some people if you try to do that. But uh, it does seem to be a noticeable difference. As far as the setting, I think it's probably a matter of personal preference. It, it's really one to three uh, if you have it turned on. And, and most people, I would say, start at two. Um, you can turn it up or down as needed. And if you don't notice any di difference or any benefit from it, it's something you could easily turn off as well. Probably yep. something a little bit, uh, maybe on higher pressures that a patient would need. If your pressure is 18 or something a little higher, you know, it's maybe it's a little hard to breathe out against an 18, and rather than have the machine fight fight against you, it's sort of trying to work with you a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So it makes it almost mimics what we call bi-level therapy, which are two pressures: one you breathe in with, and a lower, slightly lower pressure that you breathe out with. So um, as long as your airway is, is stable during that. The process of exhaling, uh, it can be a very comfortable feature and something that people find helpful. Uh, another feature, another great comfort feature that a lot of patients need and like and helps their overall therapy is the availability of a heated humidifier. Uh, as you know, the new Res Med Air Sense 10 has the heated humidifier built into it with a removable chamber that you can open and clean. Um, the Air Sense allows, you know, with the, with the conjunction of the heated tube, you can let the machine automatically adjust the temperature or the humidity by itself, or you can manually do that. Did you um, have any, uh, um, you know, what was your feedback on that? Most people find it very, you know, very nice, depending on your climate, obviously. If there's a lot of humidity in the air, maybe the heating element won't, won't heat up as much. You can also turn it completely off and have it do the reverse effect, which would be a Passover humidifier. Um, right. Did you have to make any manual adjustments, or did you find the auto setting just to be just fine? Yeah, so I'm kind of show you a couple things. So the humidifier uh, is different in the sense that it's uh, a part that kind of comes out like this rather than a separate piece that was in the prior S9 model. Um, this is not something that you necessarily have to use. They do have a cap for the end of the device that, that you can put in place if you just are interested in using just the CPAP by itself. Most people are going to benefit from having humidity, so I usually recommend people at least start with it and, and you can get away from it if you decide to. But the heated tubing connects at the back of the machine uh, here. Um, this is basically standard of therapy now. Um, without the heated tubing, if you have the humidifier running, you might get condensation inside the tube, um, making it water splash into the mask or in your face. So, so most machines, newer machines, are going to have that as an integrated element. And the auto feature I thought worked pretty well. I live in San Francisco, and the climate can be variable during this time of the year, but. Uh, it was very comfortable for me. Um, I also took over control one night and, and played with the settings a little bit. I think it's a matter of preference. I thought the auto function did fine, um, but if you are somebody who maybe you really prefer a cooler temperature or maybe you need a little extra moisture or humidity because of allergies or other things, you may want to take over the control of that, uh, that function to be able to do that. But um, I thought the auto function actually worked pretty well. And there's also most people are familiar with the ramp function on these machines where it starts at a lower pressure as you're falling asleep and then gradually turns it up after a set period of time. There's also an auto ramp function on this new device, uh, which is a little bit different, and I think some people may benefit from that as well. It may detect the change in your breathing and be able to turn itself up uh, when it needs to rather than waiting a set number of minutes.